What's up everybody and welcome to a brand new series in EA UFC 4 and I am so excited about this and I'm not going to lie to you guys to start off I just want to say right off the bat this game is absolute garbage they have somehow made this game worse than the previous one but career mode is always going to be fun especially I think when I do it just because everything just weird shit always happens and the main protagonist for this series is going to be none other than Johnny Piccotti he is the alleged Italian cousin of legendary porn star Johnny Sins. In fact, Johnny Piccati literally means Johnny Sins. If you translate it, obviously he has the Sins family S on his chest, and of course it says Piccati on the on his back. And it, like I said, it's he's the alleged cousin. We don't know if he actually is or not. He could be. He could just be straight up lying. All we know is that uh, he claims that in the Piccati family heritage, you have to do some kind of extreme job, and of course. He is going to be in mixed martial arts, which I guess, you know, you can easily transition to porn if you're in mixed martial arts. But plenty of people have done that before. You can trans you can um, go over to the WWE. Plenty of porn stars um, go into the WWE as well or vice versa. So, you know, there's there's plenty of options for this guy once he uh, once he finishes his MMA career. Hopefully he'll get to the UFC and become the greatest of all time. Maybe not quite torture god levels, but definitely, you know. One of the best we've ever seen. Um, obviously, he's going to be 30 years of age, much like his cousin Johnny Sins. He's 170 pounds, six foot. They're pretty much identical, so it's. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting one. That's for damn sure. Obviously, his his uh, his style of fighting is a smasher. I mean, you just can't make him anything other than a fucking smasher. So it just has to be. It, it's just everything is setting up nicely for this to be a really really interesting uh, career mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the cutscenes. I, I don't think they're that good, I will be honest with you guys, but I will let you watch them, uh, and then after the main cutscene at the beginning, I will start skipping to just where we have a little cutscene before the fights, because it is a long, uh, drawn out tutorial slash intro type of thing, and it, it's not fun at all, I would say. Um, some of these, like, you just kind of see the amazing character models on show, spoiler alert, most of these character models are shit. They've somehow made him look worse than UFC 3, and in general, the game is just extremely cringy. So, you can expect a lot of trash going on uh, and moving forward. So, go ahead and enjoy the cutscene, and I'll be back in a minute. Yo! Hello? Anybody home? What, you daydreaming again? <laughs> Number of times I've seen you looking up at this wall, I told you you'd make it to the big show. Now, here we are. UFC debut right around the corner. All right. UFC promo crew's back here. We're gonna do an interview in a few minutes. But first, I need you to fill out this release form. Height, weight, nickname, Bruce Buffer, he's gonna need all of that, right? You two ready for the interview? Yeah. All right. Actually, before we begin, and this is off the record. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> I just hear there's an interesting story about how you two started working together. <laughs> Yo, he wants to hear about your first fight. <laughs> I hear it's a good one. He hates when I tell a story, but oh man, I will never forget the first time I saw this kid. He was getting busted up. He looked like a zombie. It was one of those, let's say, amateur cards you can find across town from time to time. Great fights, never know if you're gonna see something special. Right, so yeah, this kid caught my eye because his eye was all busted up and bruised. You get too crazy, you get too crazy. Well, it was a total mismatch. It was obvious that the opponent was way more experienced. This kid took a beating for two rounds. Okay, probably both 10 8s. They could have stopped the fight easy, but the bell sounds to start the third round. And this kid is still coming forward. He's still fighting as if he thought that maybe. All right, here we go. So it's time for the very first fight of the series. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, and I think it pops up actually on screen as soon as the fight starts, as what basically is Stitch. Yeah, you see it says you're outmatching this fight and cannot win. It will be a challenge to survive this round. So basically, you can have best hope to go to a decision, uh, and that's pretty much all you can do. So it's just like, who really cares? I mean, I don't really know if this fight changes anything. It's kind of just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it, like, you know, it recommends a higher difficulty or something depending on your performance. But obviously, Johnny Piccotti is going to go balls to the wall. I mean, there's no way he can win this fight. So, might as well go with a huge, 
huge knockout if you're gonna lose, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no point in losing a decision. At least go balls to the wall and try to win it. Of course, he's getting tagged up pretty bad right now by Mr. Brown. So, I mean, you just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's rough. But I guess this is a good chance because this is an unwinnable fight. To just kind of get a few of my issues with the gameplay off my chest immediately. Uh, first of all, I feel like, okay, for, first of all, presentation. We've already said everything is extremely cringy. They've gone ahead and taken the game that had horrible presentation and made it a hell of a lot worse. I don't know how they managed to do that, but EA Sports, you continue to impress us with how trash you are. Um, but when it comes to the gameplay, I just feel like they they took a game that was aimed to be a simulation. They made it more casual. And they made it worse and I don't I didn't think that was possible like honestly honestly guys I did not believe they could do that because the game before it was slow but at least it felt like maybe it was more tactical like if you watch some of the guys that are really really good um, I, it's not really something I do that often but I, I have done it sometimes like Marshall Mind etc like the or the guys that you know are, are they, they pay on they play online at the highest level it is a strategic game it does seem like you're playing something that can be considered, you know, a simulate a simulator. When you're playing this, it just seems extremely arcade. The grappling system that they added is horrible when it comes to submissions. It's kind of like they took the one thing that I really hated about the Undisputed games and they brought it back. And I don't know, I just feel like they made some horrible decisions. Every the animations are horrible. The ground and pound is better, the clinch is better, but it's just all really 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 poorly done and poorly executed. And, it just doesn't feel like it's an improvement over the game, the previous game in the series. I would say it's actually worse. So, I don't know. I just feel like they've really, really shit the bed with it. And, I mean, it's going to be funny regardless. But, like, me and my friend Shepard and my friend Jopina, too, he played a few matches, too. Like, we're all already sick of playing it just, you know, for fun. It's like, it's there's no, there's nothing good about the game, honestly. Okay, here we are. First real amateur fight. I don't count that last one. You weren't training with me, all right? Remove that from your memory. Your journey starts like right honestly, like maybe this dude's this voice acting is the best thing about the game so far, and that's not that nobody. impressive. <laughs> but where it ends, sky's the limit, all right? So relax, yeah, breathe. Put the work in already. Let's go have some fun. You ready? Ready, and let's go eat. So essentially what they do is they have you do like uh, they, they do a basic tutorial for boxing, then they do one for kickboxing, then do one for grappling or wrestling, they do one for jujitsu, they do one for the clinch, and that's essentially the tutorial, that's all your amateur career. Um, depending on how you perform, I, I guess you go through the, the, con the contender series, you go to tough, or you go to the UFC directly, I, I don't know exactly how that works, um, considering it's my first career mode in the game, so I don't know, but regardless, um, going against Beach right here, and like I was just, just kind of clarify a little bit more. I just feel like, you know, like I said, they took a game that was a slow paced, bad simulator to being a very, um, not fast paced, but faster pace, paced, um, arcade style fighter with just broken animations, a broken, a broken gra grappling system, which is somehow even more annoying than the previous one, especially because I had to go back to the legacy system because the uh, new, you know, super easy one is somehow worse. I don't know, it just, it doesn't work for me, I don't like it, so, I don't know, I just feel like they've taken steps backwards and everything, and somehow the character models, in my opinion, also look worse. A lot of the big fighters, like Conor McGregor looks like He's got a worse face than this one they did in the previous one. And just body-wise, they all look really, really awkward. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like their shoulders are drooping. It's just not necessarily in in the actual fights themselves, but when you look at them in the menus, they just look really, really, really stupid. So I feel like they've definitely taken some huge steps backwards in this one. It's Johnny Picotti. He's going in for a slam. But <laughs> the combination to do the slam <laughs> is bewildering. I just I pushed every button and couldn't do it. So now it's like my main goal is to figure out how to slam without looking at the uh, without looking at any um, you know any any tutorials or anything like that. Not not looking up looking it up on Google. I want to get a slam. There you go. Go for it again. Can we actually drop him? There we do. We do actually drop him. Not quite on his head, which would have been a nice way to get a, a knockout. But, um, you know, it, at least we were able to do it. Um, it remains to be seen if we'll be able to do it again, because, honestly, the combination is still, it feels like it's very random. I, I really, really hate the new grappling system, where if you push left trigger or L2 if you're on the PlayStation, and then you push squ square or X, then it goes in for a takedown. See, once again, couldn't get the slam. 
So, I mean, I really hate that system because a lot of times I'll be trying to jab somebody to the body as, of course, Johnny gets rocked. Uh, I'll be trying to jab somebody to the body and he'll shoot in for a takedown, which is fine because Johnny is a wrestler. But I don't like that at all. I prefer the old way. Got another slam. This time it was more like DC on John Jones. That was a nice one. Uh, can we actually finish him with some ground and pound? The stamina is really low. So it's not looking like that's going to be possible. Have to just kind of recover. And look how slow the stamina is building up. The ground and pound is better. I will say that. Um, this animation right here because he's tired looks really, really soft. But the ground and pound is a lot better. It is a lot faster. And it doesn't seem like you're just doing like one, two, three. It's like you have, I don't know, somebody who just does not understand how to throw punches at all. So that has improved a little bit. Or I would say quite a bit actually. It's just... The grappling system is still really, really bad, so it, it is still a frustrating thing to do to go to the ground, so I would rather just stand and bang and honestly deal with the trash animations as opposed to having to deal with the horrible grappling system, which, like I said, just continues to get worse and worse. As we take a look at some of the highlights, um, I, I don't know if that was in the game before. I've never really gone after wrestling or something like that, so um, it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually get okay with the grappling system in this game. As we do immediately rock Beach. I mean, Johnny's looking all right. I mean, he's made a few mistakes, he's been rocked, but he's looking okay to start. Obviously, it's against low-level competition, but looking uh, looking pretty solid right now. Um, just have to kind of get some better combos, get some better, uh, you know, like front kicks and stuff like that, get some of the broken stuff. I've really noticed that elbows up close, obviously elbows, you can't do them from far away, but you know what I mean? Like, if you, if you can back your opponent against the cage, and just spam elbows, you are pretty much guaranteed to win. That's something I've noticed. Um, it's just there's really no way to stop it um, unless they clinch with you. But even then, you know, you just have to take a couple steps backwards and you're out. So uh, I just feel like you know there's there's a lot of game breaking stuff in this. And uh, up until they patch it and fix some of the issues, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Let's put it that way. As we get into Beach's guard. See if we can put him away here with 3 minutes 25 seconds left. I definitely feel like we can. The ground and pound right here is pretty brutal. Only going with left hands. Don't know. That doesn't make sense. And there it is. First win for Johnny Picotti against Beach. I have no idea what his first name is. Easy win. Eh, maybe not too easy though. He did get we did get rocked once. So fair enough to Beach. He did have um he did have one or two moments where it looked like he could have gone on to win this fight, but it just wasn't enough. And Johnny Picotti is one and one or we believe he's one and one we don't know what happened before that one fight so he could be you know one and five for all we know but he gets the win now that's the important thing stitch definitely that's that has to be based off of stitch there's no way it's not raises his arm and there it is a w i don't know if i like this system like the the height the fans longevity all that's pretty much the same i just really really hate the um the whole the look of it and all that and one thing I will say after the cutscene that I think is definitely a huge improvement is the evolution points. It's a full house tonight. We're looking for a show. So let's go out there and let's give them one. You know, we expanded your arsenal. So let's use all those weapons now. All right? Control the range. Set up your kicks. Use your combinations. Good, good. Yeah, you got this. All right. How you feel? Good. All right. Let's go. Alright, talking about evolution points, I think that's a really, really good addition to the game, actually. Which will definitely add a bit more depth and a bit more personalization to um, to the career mode. Essentially what evolution points are, and I think they'll probably pop up here, maybe in this fight or the next one, is as you use specific moves, you actually improve them. So the more success you have with them, like with that head kick, if we land a few more, there's a chance it'll go up, you know what I mean? So, evolution points are kind of like... <sighs> points you get mid-fight that go into the improvement and development of specific skills so the more you land head kicks the more you land jabs or, you know hooks etc the more that specific move levels up so as opposed to before where it was like oh, I'm gonna have to just do you know I have to go train like uh, oh, I'm gonna train um, I'm gonna train like jump rope or something like that your stats don't improve like that anymore they train um, they train in different ways so I do believe that's that's cooler and also Training isn't just like push a bit, push a button, uh, push a random button and see if something happens. Um, you know, like oh, maybe you get like plus 0 0.3 or something like that, and you have to train, you have to do all that stuff to get your stamina up, and then that's when you can, that's when you can start to develop your character better, etc. I thought it was 
a very very boring and trash system and in this one you actually have to like hit the bag they have to give you different combos it's, it's, it's like different every time um, you have to try to do specific objectives and train to get maximum to get maximum results and it is a lot better I would say training in this game is definitely a lot better as we get the knockout on the ground um, definitely a hell of a performance here against Parrish so good right there but I feel like the evolution points are one of the best things that they've probably added to this game um, where yeah it's like as you if, if you if you're aiming to be a specific kind of fighter like last year like with the last series with Torture God we had the UTG kick in that in this game it would develop because we keep on using it we keep on having success with it it would eventually become a five star move and it would be extremely dangerous whereas before yes it would become a five star move but by unlocking it by doing like sparring so like you can just go spar with uh, I don't know you can spar with like Paul Felder one time and you're gonna have five star elbows you can go train with uh, with with uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson and you're gonna have you know five star body spin kicks you know what I'm saying it's like it's, it's it was really really stupid because you can with one training session you go from one star to five star with a specific move whereas now it's based on how much you use the move and how much success you have with the move so that is a very very good addition i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, if you did please do the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and let me know in the comments in the comment section down below what you think of the series and i'll see all you guys in the next video thanks for watching